Hello everybody, welcome back to another browser game spotlight. This is Rogue Soul 2. Yes, that's a 2, not a hashtag. Not everything has to be social media, even though the buttons are right here. This is a game from Soul Game Studio. It's the obviously the second one in the series. Um game is not really my cup of tea, but it has been an well, recommendation. Um Apparently it's a run and gun and shoot hack slash thing. So let's have a look at the description, right? Here we go. A sequel of the award-winning Rogue Soul is finally here. Slash your way across the land this amazing running game. New enemies, loot, environment, skills, skills, bosses, upgrade, challenges, skins, and so much more. Everything you were waiting for is now in the game. Enjoy. And yes, there seems to be quite a lot in the game. Anyway, let's... Uh just gonna have a quick look at the instructions so I know what I'm getting myself into. Alright, let's give it a shot, shall we? Oh, we got a tutorial. Um, well, I'm gonna go with the arrow keys because I got a layout of my keyboard is different. I'm using ZQ S and D because I got a Nazirty keyboard. Anyway. Ah, oh, you run on your own. Well, sort of. No double jump so far. Drop down. Okay. Collect loot. That's usually a good idea, right? Enemies jump on them. Okay. Combo. Thank you. Haven't really done too much yet, but <clears throat> you know, customized controls. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. All right, let's see. Level one. Beat eight enemies. Bounce eight times on mushrooms. Beat three enemies while sliding. So you can kill them by sliding as well. Okay. this out of the way as soon as possible. Don't know if they mean... Okay, did that. You're welcome. Alright, let's slide some more enemies down. Right, that's taking care of that. Oh, why are you under there? Sorry. Ah, well, so far it's pretty easy. Soon it's gonna get harder, right? Yeah, leap of faith. Yeah. Mm, well. <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at our upgrades, right? Assuming that's something we can do. In the air, jump higher. Oh, we get our skills just like that. We don't have to buy anything. Upgrades. Select an upgrade to see its description. Armor. Makes you throw projectiles faster when we don't have projectiles. Agility increases your speed. That's fine too. Dodge. Uh, ammunition increases your maximum and your starting number of projectiles. Piercing. Prospect. Increase total soul lance earned at the end of the game. Armors. Flowers. Projectiles. Glide duration. Well, we don't have that yet. Mm. I'm assuming starting off with a weapon can go a long way, right? Moves. What do we have here? Yeah, probably should work. Backflip. <laughs> cool. Headbutt. Drop 
kick. <laughs> right, well, can't get any of those yet. Um, soul book, let's see. Bandit, very calm, money or your life kind of guy. Spearman who went bad. Alright. Oop, sorry about that one. Loot. Okay. Well, it's good though that there's our, our bigger drops out there than just one or two. Wall run. Glide. Double jump. Use X to throw projectiles. We now have one of those. Get flowers to get power ups. Okay, we won't be using that anytime soon. Forward and backwards. Can be used to dodge, overwhelm, for air control after swing. Sliding. Okay. See, analyze, avoid, strike. Huge combos will make you rich. Well, I don't know how to do those combos. I didn't get hit anywhere, and you know. See on the left to anticipate obstacles. Be awesome, yeah. Pick up armors only give one armor point, even with the upgraded armor. Go up, go forward, danger, enemy horde. Alright, well that takes care of that. Let's do one or two more levels, shall we? Form four stomps, be twelve enemies, shoot four enemies with projectiles. Okay. So now we can throw stuff at other guys. That's my slide button, isn't it? Uh-oh. Probably shouldn't have done that, huh? Yeah, I know I failed. But we still get the loot for it, apparently. That's good. Restart. Alright, so don't stomp on that guy, because that, or at least, <coughs> looks like the levels are randomly generated. I got the missed one again, no, there we go. I'm going to ignore you, because I can't get up there anymore. There you go. Okay, there's... Ugh. And I'm not that good at this type of things, but... I don't know how I should have gotten up there in the first place. Okay. At least gonna get... Armor... Yeah, okay. We've seen that already. Thanks for the info, though. It's a whole bag of loot right there. Shoot four enemies with projectiles. That has been done as well. Yeah. Well, we got two. Beat 12 enemies. Yeah, well. Still not that bad, huh? Let's see if we can get something else here, but uh, I think we've seen... Alright, we've got our double jump. Could've used that on one of those earlier levels. What do we have here? Spring boots. Prevents one death by falling into pits. Plus five second power up. Should attack while recovering. Combo duration. True enough. Except to drink and confront bosses during insane fights, plus you'll support the country economy by financing local projects. Yeah, well, I don't think we're quite on that stage yet. Anyway, I think you've seen kind of what uh, is up with this game. Apparently, there are 10 areas, 9 objectives, 3 bosses, 16 trials. Survival mode, arena, more skills, stuff like that. 
So yeah, that's gonna be it for uh, this one. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you are still enjoying the series. Feel free to show support by commenting, like, and or something. Feel free to recommend browser games yourselves. It's how I come across games like this one. This has been Roxel 2. Links will be in the description if you want to try this one yourselves. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next browser game spotlight. Bye, everyone.